story time. The Princess of the Blue Mountains. Here's a picture if you want to see. Yeah. <laughs> right. There was a poor widow with one son called Will. He was all she had in the world, so he always had his way, and he became lazy. In the end she said to him, Son, you must make your own way in the world. Then you will know what it is to find your own work and your own living. So young, went, young Will went off to seek his fortune. Will travelled until he came to a river which he had to cross. Seeing the rapid current and the sharp rocks, he was afraid to go into the water. But a lady on the opposite bank saw him and waved at him to cross, which he finally did. <laughs> <laughs> when Will got to the other side, the lady said she should give him food and drink if he would go into her garden and find <laughs> their garden and find the most beautiful flower. But Will, struck by the lady's beauty, said, "You are the fairest flower in all the garden." Charmed by Will, the lady turned to him. Would you be my husband? She asked. Quickly, <laughs> 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 quickly. There will be many dangers, but I will help you. It did, talk, it did not take Will long. Will, can I say this? I it, well. did, it did not take Will long to say yes. I will be your husband. Whatever dangers I must face. <laughs> the lady explained her story. She was the princess of the kingdom of the Blue Mountains. She had been stolen by a demon called Grimaldin, who would do battle with Will. The lady gave Will three black sticks, one for each legion of demons, and a pot of ointment in case he should be injured. Use these things, Will, for now I must leave you. Just then, not so well. The lady left, and three legions of demons appeared. They beat Will with fearsome clubs, but the young man stopped their blows and used the lady's sticks to beat them. Soon they were gone. The lady returned and was pleased to see Will hale and hearty. Never has any man fought off the demons with such skill and courage. Tonight twice as many demons will challenge you, so I will give you six sticks. And the lady left giving Will Leo giving Will a larger pot of ointment in case he was wounded. Sure enough, six legions of demons arrived to do battle with Will, and he beat them off successfully. The following morning the lady was delayed but said, I must give you twelve sticks, for twelve legions will come tonight. <laughs> No, You're not worth this bitch! You can't catch a break. Looking out from Grimaldin, for he will come too. Leo! She left more ointment, for no one had survived the fight with Grimaldin without being too sorely wounded. <laughs> his legs are like cut off. He's <laughs> put some ointment on it. <laughs> Grimaldin and his twelve legions arrived, and the chief demon asked Will, What is your business to rescue the princess of the Blue Mountains? Then you shall die. <laughs> There's a picture if you want to see. Look at all of his sticks. The demons attacked and Will beat them off with the sticks, but this time Grimaldin attacked and struck Will to the ground. The young man quickly applied the ointment and was amazed to feel well again. This time he beat off the chief demon, who went away howling. <laughs> howling. The princess reappeared looking relieved. Your greatest danger is over, said to Will. Take this book about the history of my family. Let no one distract you from reading it. If you know all that's in this book, you'll be one of my father's favourites and he will allow you to marry me. Will started the book. Voices tried to distract him, but he kept his eyes glued to the pages. He heard a woman selling apples and looked up from the book. He was thrown against the apple woman's basket with such a force that he passed out. When Will awoke, there was an old man sitting nearby, and Will asked if he knew how to get to the kingdom of the Blue Mountains. The man did not know, so he asked the fishies, and no fish knew the whereabouts of the kingdom. The old man said, I have a brother who can talk to the birds of the air. There's the bird. Wow. He will know, or he will find out from the birds. The old man's aged brother called all the birds, but no one knew until the last bird. A great eagle sir, arrived. I can take you to the kingdom, said the eagle. Climb onto my back. They landed by a house hung with black drapes. The people told Will that their master was to be fed to a giant who ate a human victim every day. Whoever could kill the giant would please the king and gain the hand of his daughter in marriage. Will knew that what he must do. He put on his armour and strode out to challenge the giant. They fought long and hard, and Will was finally the winner. The princess recognised him, and when the king learned that he had killed the giant, gave his permission for Will and the princess to marry. After the wedding, Will's mother came to live with them at the royal castle, and they were all happy together. The end. The end. Yay.